hopes, some new hopes of what we are here for and what is the purpose. And I think that this is a wonderful time to think on the hopes that God has given us. Now, we want to draw this first into our mind. That there is not one thing that can destroy us until the purpose of He who created us has been fulfilled. There could be nothing. We are made for a purpose. This church was built here for a purpose. This foundation was not dug and the cornerstone laid and the blocks laid into the, the building. And the roof and the interior was not put here just to see if it could be done. It was put here by a purpose or for a purpose. Your home that you live in was not just accidentally put there or somebody just wasting some time. Your home was made for a purpose, to serve a purpose. If you did drive this morning here in your automobile, that automobile was not made just to see if it could be made. The materials was not wasted by man. It was put here for a purpose and to serve a purpose. The clothing that you wear was not just to see if somebody could fashion something. It was for a purpose. The food that you eat was not grown on the earth just to see it grow. It was made to serve a purpose. And God did not have to just make a tree just to be a tree. He made a tree for a purpose. And God did not make you and I just to see if He could do it. He made us for a purpose. Therefore, there is a purpose of us all being here. You're not here just to be another human being. You are here because that God made you for some purpose. You're not here just to eat the food that God growed. You're not here just to live in the house that that man made or to wear the clothing that someone fashioned. You are here for a specific purpose. No matter how little you are, how big you are, how important you are, or how unimportant you are, you are here to serve a purpose. 